Is your new dwarf tarantula not acting as you expected? Watch this video to find out why. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodopods. I'm David and today I'm not joined by my parrots there in the other room snacking. I am talking about dwarf tarantulas and how they potentially be misrepresented on YouTube and other sources and how they behave slightly differently. Now in this video I'm specifically talking about terrestrial dwarf tarantulas and fossorial or potentially because the, the two mix very closely as you'll find out, but not arboreal. If you've got an arboreal dwarf tarantula, this video probably won't apply, although you never know. Now, for this video, I'm using my own example of my C. elegans ember, and I'm using a couple of other people I've talked to who have the mini dwarf pumpkin patch and how they've behaved. I've also tried to do a bit of research online and some forums, and I've seen this same story replicated over and over again, which is why I thought I'd do a video about it. Now, if you're not familiar with the terms arboreal, fossorial, and terrestrial, let me just quickly spell them out. Arboreal is when your spider lives in tree canopies and well above ground, maybe in leaflet, that sort of stuff. Terrestrials when they're on ground level, fossorials when they spend most of their time burrowed underground. Now, as I mentioned at the start, we're talking about terrestrial and fossorial. Many dwarf tarantulas are marketed in such a way as to describe their behavior as terrestrial. So people say that they will spend a lot of their time above ground, they're excellent display tarantulas, they will run around and sit out in the open, and that they generally won't spend a lot of time burrowed or they will a little bit. And when a a spider's fossorial, they'll spend almost all their time underground. And the problem with these dwarf tarantulas that a lot of us, especially sort of slightly new owners, because I've had dealt with tarantulas in the past, but never like dwarf ones, is that they tend to be fossorial. Most of the time, when you're getting yourself a dwarf, dwarf tarantula, especially a C. elegans or a pumpkin patch, they're gonna spend a lot of their time burrowed, and that's where they're gonna be. And you'll see them occasionally for a snack if you're lucky, but they'll just be underground. And you've basically got yourself a patch of dirt as a pet with occasional, you know, popping ups. It was, if you've seen my previous video um, on Ember, watch it now, it's interesting, you know, because it was a whole new experience. But a lot of people are increasingly finding that these spiders are misrepresented on YouTube and on other sources because people describe them as terrestrial display when really they're not. And they can be a little bit more challenging because of that, especially for new owners. And I feel new owners need to be aware of these facts before getting them because they're beautiful tarantulas when you see them, but you may not see them a lot. And in many tarantulas cases, they're all burrowers and they will spend lots of time down there. And when I was doing my research, I just heard over and over again how a C. elegans is easy and how a C. elegans is gonna spend all its, a lot of its time up above ground. And maybe when Ember's older, she might do, or due to other factors we'll talk about in a minute. But right now, she's just down there all the time. She's a very shy species, you know, she doesn't wanna be there. And I wish they were represented more like that. So when people are buying, when people are researching, they can get, make a more informed decision about getting them. Because again, while they're beautiful, if you don't ever see them and you're not prepared for that, it's going to be very disappointing and very frustrating. It may even lead to people thinking that their spider's dead, stressing them out by digging them out, digging them up constantly, or rehoming them, which is never fun for any animal of any type. I don't want to be completely unfair to other YouTubers and other situations, so I thought I would list some situations which will affect whether a C. elegans, pumpkin patch, or other dwarf terrestrial tarantula will behave in this manner. The very first thing I want to talk about is individual personality and age. Age will be a massive factor. Sometimes when one of these dwarf species is younger, it will spend more time burrowed purely because it's a defense mechanism they want to stay safe. They're smaller, they're easier to be preyed upon, so they like to stay underground where it's safe. And their individual personalities. People don't seem to think that spiders will have personalities, and they do. Just like every animal, there will be some individual variances in the way they act, and some may be more prone to burrowing or staying on top dependent on their environmental circumstances. Leading neatly on, environmental circumstances will have an impact on how your dwarf spider behaves, their general condition, their conditions, how, how often they're fed whether the humidity is correct, whether the setup's correct, whether there's enough places to burrow and hide on the top level, which may encourage them to stay up there more. All of these things will have an impact on how your spider behaves. Now, I was talking to some other YouTubers and some other people who have kept these spiders, and one of their theories, and this is only a theory, so I'm not gonna point fingers at anyone, is that they reckon that some people who often like to photograph or video their uh, dwarf species keep them hungry deliberately. That's why you always see the abdomens being quite small. They literally keep them hungry, so they're more likely to be staying on top, which means less frequent feedings. And it kind of likens 
it's for me, it's kind of like when people in the parrot world, which is my main sort of job, don't feed their parrots before free flying to make them more motivated. You can do it, but is it morally right, really? Yes, you want to see your spider, but you want to make sure they're getting fed regularly and they're happy. And again, I don't really have any hard evidence of this. This is just a theory that me and some other people have been discussing. But if it's true, it would make sense. So if you are considering doing that, feed your spider. It's much better, it's healthy than on display, honestly. It's much better. So that's it guys, I mean those are my theories as to why it happens and I really wish people would stop misrepresenting these dwarf species because as beautiful as they are, people need to know what they're getting themselves into. If you have any comments or questions, happy to hear from you down below. But in the meantime, take care and see you later.